Are you thinking of starting a business? Here are some questions you need to ask yourself before taking action. Welcome to Just World YouTube channel where we talk about finance, food, travel, and community service. Thank you for clicking and your continued support. We are now on episode 10 of the Personal Finance series. If you missed any of the episodes, the links will be on the description box down below. On to the questions. Why do you want to start a business? What are your goals? And where do you see yourself in 5 or 10 years time? Ensure you set smart goals, which means specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. Do you have a business plan? Business plan should cover the core of the organization, that is mainly the strategy, daily operations, financial planning, the product or the service that you'll be offering, the marketing and planning of the organization. And the most important, that is the product or the service that you will be providing. How do you come up with the name of your business? You may consider a few factors when you're coming up with the name, that is keywords, the business sector, name and style, branding expertise, your own creativity, and coming up with a domain, among other factors. How do you come up with the business slogan? The question is, do you really need a slogan? Comment down below with your take, whether you do or you don't. And if you have a business, you can comment down below and let us know how you came up with your slogan. Which problem are you solving? That is, what kind of business do I want to start? And what will stand out in your solution? You will notice most of these problems have, have solutions. So you really have to come up with a solution which stands out from the rest. For those who already have a business, maybe you can comment down below and let us know why you made a choice of that business and most especially if the business already has other providers. Let us know what someone may consider when they are planning to start a business. How much capital do I need at the start of the business? If you already have a business plan, you have an estimate of how much you require to start the business. You also need to do a market survey of the products or the service that you intend to provide because prices change on a regular basis and you may have projected and whatever you projected could have changed by the time you're starting the business. Where is the source of financing for my startup? Do I have savings? Am I getting family and friends to help me? Am I taking a loan? Am I getting trade credit? Am I inviting third parties to invest in my business? This is a key factor as most businesses you require financing to be able to start the business. There are some businesses where you require minimal or no capital and therefore this should not stand in your way of starting a business. If someone has ever started a business without capital or with very low capital and the business has succeeded, kindly comment down below. Let us know your experience. We may help someone. Can you take a loan to finance the business as a startup? If you started a business on a loan and the business has succeeded, please comment down below and also comment on your take as to whether you can take a loan to start a business. 
if the repayments will be financed from other sources other than the business, would you consider taking the loan? What are other ways of financing a new business? How much money are you willing and able to risk in the business? What are the potential risks in your business plan? Have you considered and evaluated all the possible business risks and how you're going to avert them and if they happen, how you're going to handle them? If you ever started a business and overlooked this aspect, kindly comment down below on how you addressed the risks when they came up and in case they never happened did you plan ahead and only were left on a safe ground who is your target market or who is your ideal customer have you tailor-made your business products and services to suit the specific solution that you're going to provide for that specific problem you have identified and how do you align yourself to beat the competitors how will you market your business and how have you identified your niche have you checked out how your competitors are marketing themselves and how you will align yourself to beat the competition if you ever started a very competitive business and you succeeded kindly comment down below with the tips of how you made an impact or a breakthrough into the industry who are your competitors whether the main uh, players in the industry or the upcoming competitors how best have they placed themselves in the market and how can you beat them by providing an outstanding service or product what are the major gaps they have left that you're trying to fill in how is the market responding to this industry if it is a new invention how do you plan to make it known to the market if you have ever innovated an, a totally new product how did it respond to the market kindly comment down below how is your solution different from your competitors is there a, diff, a unique feature in your product if you ever innovated something for the very first time again comment down below and give us tips of how you got a breakthrough what is your unique selling point what is unique about your product and what will your customer identify your product from your competitors product how will you price your products how do you ensure that you don't overprice or underprice? Are you passionate about your product or service? One of the things that makes a business successful is because it's something you can enjoy doing, whether today, tomorrow, and maybe for the rest of your life. Can this business make money now and in the future? Is there a prospect in the future that you will still need to provide the products or the services? Or is it something that is for a short period? Can you do the business alone or you need perhaps family help or you need to employ people? If you're working alone, how long can you work alone? before you onboard maybe family members who can support you uh, without incurring an extra cost or hiring employees if you require to hire employees how many employees do you need 
and how will their salaries be paid? Are you ready to invest your time into the business? Even as you invest your money, you require to invest a lot of your time in the business, especially at the beginning, perhaps before you hand it over to a to your family or employees. What will be your business legal structure? If you answer the question of being alone as yes, then it means you're looking into a sole proprietorship. Otherwise, you may consider the other options of the legal structure of a business. What taxes apply to the kind of business you chose? Familiarize yourself with the taxes applicable to the business you, option that you take based on the legal structure. When will you be ready to start? That is usually the biggest question because we always say we are going to start tomorrow, which never comes. So if you plan to start a business, start today. No matter how you start, you're going to learn along the way. Would there be a much better time for you to start the business than now? I don't think so. Start today. What are the chances of success? I say 100%. Trust in the process and pray for your business and it's going to succeed. In the process, you have to ensure you undertake a SWOT analysis, ensure you know your weaknesses and threats, and maximize on your strengths and opportunities. What is your risk appetite? Are you risk averse or you are a risk taker? Whichever one, maximize on the opportunities available. If returns are less than expected, how long should you keep trying to make the business work? At what point do you give up? Question is, should you give up? I think you can keep going as long as you're going in the right direction. If the business does not work out, how will you move on to the next attempt and how should you approach it? At what point should you incorporate the family members into the business? Is hiring family members advisable? Would you hire your family members? If you have an experience of hiring your family member, Kindly comment down below. We hope they are both positive and negative. Obviously, we have had experiences of families who bring family businesses down. Please comment down below. Let us know your experience. What are the biggest challenges of startups? If you have ever started a business, Kindly comment down below with the challenges that you encountered. You may help those who are aspiring to start a business. What are the biggest mistakes made by startup entrepreneurs? If you know of any, kindly comment down below. What permits, licenses or registrations do you need for your business? If you're in business, kindly comment down below with the, li with the licenses and the permits that are required to be able to run a business. Which books and records do you need to keep? Does your business require insurance and what do you need to insure against? Do you have the necessary skills and abilities to start and manage the daily operations of the business? Thank you so much for watching this far. Before we wind up this
this episode 10 of the personal finance series with just world if you have not subscribed kindly take a moment and subscribe to join the family in today's video we are going to give a shout out to one of my friend youtubers real ruth who whose content is based on lifestyle cleaning vlogs home deco and business tips the link to her channel will be on the description down below. Kindly show some love to Ruth and tell her you were sent by Just World. We are still taking the bookings at our Airbnb. 